CLS fam, let's have some fun. Let's get crazy. We got a special treat tonight. Chris Cavallini, my man, the founder, CEO, and Pulse behind Nutrition Solutions, the meal prep company that I personally use, been using for the last four years, helped transform my life. We just dropped the episode on the sales experience this week, already breaking records. Everyone's loving Chris. He's real, raw, and authentic. We're going to have a lot of fun right now. We're going to bring him on. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to the world. Let me know what your plans are in the chats, what you guys got going on. I remember when this used to be a big party night in Manhattan, Thanksgiving Eve. Too funny how times have changed. Now a big party night for me is a little sharpening the axe, and that's it. Relax. Go to bed early. Lisa in the house. Junior. Dante. Uh, everybody's out today. We're going to get nuts. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to bring Chris on in just a minute. What are your plans for Thanksgiving tomorrow? And here's the thing about Thanksgiving, right? Why should we pick a day of the year to say thanks? Being grateful is a lifestyle. It's just something that we should do every single day. Put our perspective in one of gratitude. But t- Thanksgiving tomorrow, be good. Spend time with family and so forth. Chris, I see you, brother. I'm going to bring you on right now. Let's just chop it up. Talk some value and some gems. Get crazy. Love this guy. The audience is seeing. Yes. There he is. What's happening? What's up, brother? How are you? How's it going? Oh, good, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. I, I heard you were just talking about Thanksgiving. Did, did you finish that, uh, that thought? Because I, I agree with that uh, thought process. I know you do. And it's one of the things I was looking forward to talking to. And just to be clear, for my audience doesn't know, this is Chris Cavallini. He's the founder, Pulse, and CEO of Nutrition Solutions, the meal prep company that I've been using for the last four years. You guys know me. I'm very deliberate with any one thing. I hate myself. I love Chris. I love him. Reliable. They're awesome. And just so much respect. And we dropped the episode this week on the podcast. Everybody's loving it. But Chris, I know you're a big gratitude, brother. I know you love to get back on Thanksgiving. And I know how, how much of a, a perspective change gratitude has been for you. So I want to dive in a little bit about that. Yeah. So um, for those of, you know, the people watching who don't know, uh, I used to live my life a lot differently than I do now. Um, I was arrested 17 times before my 18th birthday, another half a dozen times as an adult. I was in and out of foster homes and group homes and, and, and jail and uh, juvenile detention facilities. <clears throat> Most of my... Um, childhood into my teens and uh i was just very rough around the edges um to put it very lightly and uh when i was in my 20s i uh went down a path and 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 i was uh i was selling drugs i I didn't have a regular job i was legitimately selling drugs to, to to pay my bills to fund my lifestyle and um you know i did that for many years and 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 for um a long time it 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 didn't really bother me even in the slightest in fact i i i would go as far as saying i actually enjoyed it i like being able to sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon and you know not have to go and punch a clock and basically live life on my terms in my own mind you know make cash and just kind of live a fast-paced lifestyle but you know obviously when you're living your life in that manner illegally unethically um immorally eventually that's going to catch up with you and that thought really began to um, consume my thought process as far as um, what my life would look like if I continued down this path. A lot of the friends that I was hanging out with at the time were other drug dealers, drug dealers hanging out with other drug dealers. What do you want from me? <laughs> they started trouble. They started to get in trouble and people were, you know, everybody was snitching on everybody and people were getting sent away to prison. And I knew I was being watched. I knew that, uh, that it was only a matter of time before my number was called. And uh, I was basically looking for an outlet to, 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 to begin to try to turn my life around. And uh, I was turned on a personal development by somebody who I respect uh, immeasurably. And one of the things that I uh, discovered or uncovered in my personal development journey was the importance of, of giving back and, 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 and serving others, um, you know, with, with no expectation of getting anything in return. And when you're in a dark place and, you're not happy with where you are and you're struggling and, and, and times are hard. But the best thing that you can actually do is go out and help somebody who needs it more than you. And 
again, like when you hear that for the first time, it's kind of like, uh, I don't understand how that could be possible, but I'm going to give it a shot because I'm reading these books and I got to take action. I got to see for myself. And, uh, the first time I ever went and did anything, uh, you know, um, that would constitute giving back and, and, and selflessly helping other people. I went and volunteered at a, um, it was a, a church that was basically doing a, uh, dinner. They would do like one hot meal every single month serving the homeless. And, um, you know, it's funny. I used to, I have been homeless at multiple points of my life, but it didn't really appeal to me. I wasn't overly excited or feeling, um, any type of way. It was, I was very indifferent towards going to do this, but I read in the book and I'm trying to get better, trying to turn my life around. So I'm gonna go try, pull up to this place about an hour before the, uh, the doors were to be open. And there was already a line around the building. And, uh, it, about five minutes into the experience, I, uh, I felt something that I'd never felt before. Um, I realized that all the things that, you know, I was complaining about, all the things that I was stressing about, all the things that I was worried about in comparison were meaningless and were not real problems compared to these individuals who, again, women and children lined up across, uh, around the side of the building for an hour prior. And when I, when I was, you know, serving them, the, the, the interactions, I mean, they were just so thankful. They were genuinely thankful and happy. And it made me realize that I needed to figure out a way because I, I felt, I felt amazing. I felt incredible in that moment I forgot about my problems. I forgot about everything that I thought I was going through. And, uh, I decided in that moment, um, during, you know, uh, that experience, that I needed to figure out a way where I could basically set my life up to where I had the ability and opportunity to feel those feelings of gratitude all the time. Yeah, and it's such a game changer, brother. And I love when you tell that story because I know you were in a dark place, as some of us will, and it just perspective, right? Like, forget about yourself for a second. Like, take the ego out of it. Like, there's other people who might have it a little tougher. And even that perspective just... You know, you can't be like miserable and, and like I like to say, and grateful at the same time. You can only pick one frequency. And, and I love that you did that. And you still do that to this day, right? Give back, stuff like that. I, I mean, I st not only do I still give back to this day when I'm going through tough times and I'm struggling and I'm, you know, going through it as we all do. I default to that thought process and to that game plan. And, you know, when things aren't going the way that I want or I got some problem going on or stress is a little higher than normal, like I'm going to go on offense and I'm going to look for an opportunity to give back, to help somebody in need, to, to, to write an anonymous check to an organization, um, you know, that I support and, you know, a cause that I can get behind. Because by doing so, I, I feel like I'm able to kind of immediately take back control and reestablish the vibration that I need to be on to think clearly, to be able to just feel the way I need to feel to make the decisions that I need to make to move myself forward and rectify the situation at hand. Yeah. And to be honest with you, brother, I know your story. And one of the reasons why, if not one of the main reasons why I gravitated towards you and your brand, let's face it, you're not the only meal prep company out there, but you are relatable. And I resonate with you and the message that your brand set that puts out there. And I want to acknowledge you and appreciate you that for that second. And for the audience, listen, I know you guys are very loyal and engaging, like, and you see I've been running a bunch of marathons. I owe a lot of that success to Chris because his brand sends me my meal. I don't have to think very structured. And, and they're always so reliable. Even when I would travel to run marathons, you guys would have the package of the meals delivered to my hotel and so forth. So I want to acknowledge you for that. You're super reliable, brother. You gotta take care of our people, man. You needed the fuel to get the job done. And on that note, I, I just have to say, uh, you know, I, uh, when we connected initially, um, I, I don't know how like you've eluded me for as long as you have, but I've been paying um, pretty close attention to what you're doing, man. And uh, I'm, I just want to say, man, not only am I impressed, but I'm really proud of you. You have a very, committed following your audience is awesome they're engaged in everything you're doing and uh you know i know the energy and i know what goes into putting out quality content all the time most people will never be able to fucking comprehend the <laughs> the level of, of of just tenacity and consistency and 
it's it's work. It's hard work, and that's in conjunct. That's on top of everything else. So respect, and you know, keep doing what you're doing because uh, it's very very obvious that not only are you evolving as a human. I see you, uh, you know, surrounding yourself with uh, some of the top dogs, but you're influencing a lot of people that are obviously resonating with what you're doing, and uh, you know, hopefully, a lot of them can uh, be inspired through your content through your journey and um you know we can get some of them on here to tell some of their stories about how you changed their life 100 percent, definitely and thank you so much for the acknowledgement i appreciate it buddy and, and like look we're just getting warmed up there's so much more to do which which is really the most fun part about it but thank you so much it means a lot to you and also to be honest with you one of the things that we spoke about in the podcast that is so important to me and i want to hammer home to the audience is the people in your life that you surround yourself with and you said something like this and i couldn't agree more the people that you surround yourself with will either make your life better or make your life worse. It's pretty black and white, right? And there's no in between. Like, we would like to think that there is. We'd like to think that, oh, well, you know, this person, whatever. But there, no, like, the, the bottom line is this. What we're around, who we're around is going to influence us. And it's going to influence us one of two ways. It's going to help us raise our standards or do the opposite. And... The fact is, if you know you want to live an awesome life and you want to live a meaningful life and you want to uh, you know create a life of abundance and be able to live life on your terms, and you know what does that mean? What does success mean from 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 this position? I'm basically talking about living a life of happiness, full of health, prosperity, and just you know good quality relationships. A lot of people typically attribute. Uh, money and finances to success. And that certainly can be part of it. But if you want to live a healthy, happy, fulfilling life, you have to understand that you cannot have miserable, negative, shitty people around you. It's just fundamentally impossible because those vibrations are going to influence and uh, basically manipulate the way you think. And the way you think determines how you act and what you do. So, you know, if I could only jump on here tonight and give one piece of advice and you know take it all home it would be to cut one loser out of your life because look <laughs> look myself included I'm probably guilty of this we got to look for opportunities to cut people out that are holding us back and uh, essentially deterring us from becoming the people that we were destined to be and the quickest fucking way to go from where you are to where you want to be is start cutting people out of your life that aren't adding value to it. When things aren't adding up, sometimes you're not, you're just not feeling it. Like you're just looking around and like things aren't happening the way that you'd like it to happen. And uh, you just can't seem to get anything going. I always tell people, if things aren't adding up, look for something to subtract. 100% brother, and block out that interference. Yeah, and, and look, I'm, look, I'm smiling right now because I, you're such a badass and I just love to, to interact with you and be around you. Number one, your positive energy, but also like your mindset. Like I can relate to all of it, guys. Like for the audience, if you take one thing out of it, like people, negative energy, people that don't support you, like that's cancerous. That stuff is toxic. And and it's look, we're all guilt. Like sure, you can blame it. Like well, why should you let negative people get to you? We're human beings, right? What we can do is is we can make a choice who we allow to be around us. It's, it's a privilege to be around us and so forth. If you have that type of toxic energy around you, get rid of it and, and you'll notice the impact immediately. But just to, just to add to that, like, I think it's important to give some context. I'm just not some guy who's over here telling you to drop all the shit bags and losers and all these like naysayers out of your life. Like I'm someone who I'm 38 years old, 38 years I've been on this planet. And for the majority of the time that I've been on this planet, I have not surrounded myself with the right people. In fact, I would make the argument I've surrounded myself with the wrong people. And when you're in the situation, in the, in the middle of it, times you're unaware of how profoundly somebody is impacting you, your life, or your circumstances um, in a negative way. And it isn't until, you know, some distance is created, that person is cut out, you know, you grow and they fall back that you then realize and feel like you feel lighter, you feel better. And then you have that objective clarity about, you know, how significantly that person is uh, or was holding you back. And I've experienced that quite frankly, more times than I care to admit. So this is the voice of experience. 
Um, I've made some very, very poor decisions in my lifetime, none more so than the people that I chose to hang around with and the people that I chose to give my attention to and the people that I chose to allow to uh, influence me. So, um, you know, take out of that what you will. Yeah, I love it, brother. And to be honest with you, I could talk to you for 10 hours. We'll wrap it up with this. I asked you what your superpower was in the beginning of the episode. Just like that, two seconds, you knew what it was. The ability to endure. Because, spoiler alert to the world out there, obstacles and challenges are a part of life, regardless, especially if you're taking a real shot at life. But the ability to endure, to take those punches and keep moving forward, that's inevitably how we're going to get to where we want to go, right? I think um, most people's biggest problem is the fact that they erroneously believe they shouldn't have any. When, in fact, problems give us purpose. Problems give us the ability to move forward. They give the ability to grow, to learn, and become it's something. Character, yeah. And adversity is like, again, it's something that in the moment doesn't feel good, but it absolutely teaches you lessons that you will never forget and allows you to become just something that you probably never foresaw yourself as uh, being, but it only can do that if you're leaning into it. It can only do that if, you know, you, you step up and you confront it head on and are willing to fight um, and just do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to get to the other side. Because what I've learned, again, through my journey, and I've had a lot of, a lot of uh, high highs and uh, just as many low lows, is uh, no matter how bad it gets, if you're willing to just keep doing what needs to be done to dig yourself out of that hole and you're willing to just keep fighting and just overall not quit, it does get better. And it doesn't just get better than, you know, when it's like really, really fucked up. Eventually you get to a place that you've never been at before. And it's very difficult to see that when, you know, you're, you're in the middle of the shit and you're in the middle of the storm. But the fact is, you know, adversity is needed growth without it. Growth simply cannot be possible. So we need to learn to celebrate adversity. So celebrate adversity is a core value in nutrition solutions. We've been through a lot of adversity and it's, it's, it's every single time, not a few times, not, you know, half the time, literally every single time that we've had some massive problem or crisis going on, although it uh, stung a little bit in the moment, it, so many amazing things came out of it because adversity will introduce you to the person that you're capable of becoming. I love that, brother. And it's why I love the marathons, because adversity is inevitable in those. So you lead to that. So you, be, you, you practice being battle tested and so forth. I love that you. I'm so happy to see you did that. And, and it kind of made me feel a little inadequate, uh, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. You know what the best part about this is? It's just the beginning of our relationship and our friendship. I appreciate you so much. I love when we get together. And let's definitely do some more stuff together. And thank you for stopping by tonight, brother. I appreciate it. Put this out there. I, I would love to have you come down to Tampa, bring you in, uh, check out Nutrition Solutions, and me and you will get a, a, a grueling uh, workout in. And uh, we can film it and have some fun. And just fucking hang out, man. It'd be great to do that. Consider it done. I'll text you on the side, and we'll get to up and running. Are you still putting out episodes in your podcast regularly? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had a little bit of a hiatus. Um, I had some permitting issues with the city, with the location that we were filming at. Probably a conversation to have, like, offline. Uh, so we've had a little little hiatus, but we'll be coming back strong after the new year. Awesome. And the CLS audience, if you want to see us on Chris's podcast, let him know. <laughs> if, when, you, when you come down, we'll do that. That goes without saying. Done. Done. I'm going to text you in a little bit. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate you, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Later. Happy so much fun, guys. And that's why I like to surround myself with people like Chris. Not only is he a badass, but he understands the ability to endure gratitude, giving back, surrounding yourself with the right people. It's what it's all about. If you're not already in the CLS texting community, text the number 917-634-3796. And if you're not in the CLS membership yet, joke's on you. Love you guys so much. Have an unbelievable Thanksgiving. You all deserve it. Give back. And don't only practice thanks just tomorrow, right? It doesn't have to be a yearly thing. Make it a lifestyle. Looking at things from gratitude. Remember, you can only choose one frequency at a time. You can't be miserable, sad, depressed, and grateful at the same time. So pick a lane. I choose to be grateful, and so does Chris. Have an unbelievable night. Love you all.